anything i'm just gonna say thank you so 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 much for your love and support from my last video i'm just so 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 grateful for that and now we're just gonna open school at the end of the school year and my mom was like I'm gonna throw away all these binders because um, they were torn and they were all yucky and they were such good binders and I thought why should we throw away these binders we can make a craft and then I got an idea so for today's craft we're gonna be needing a binder glue a pencil scissor colored construction paper, last but not least, some decorative items that you prefer. Okay guys, so pretty much that's it. So now let's get on with the craft. So guys, you have to cut over here on this line, the um, butt near the rings, but leave some space between the rings over here because you also need some space to stick it on the wall. So now let's cut. So guys, my sister's just gonna help me cut um, on the line. So I know it's a little crooked, but that's okay because you can barely see it anyway. So yeah, it's okay. Okay guys, so now you just have to cut the pockets of the binder so it doesn't show lumpy when you cover it. Again, there are a few little lumps over here. That's okay, that's totally fine because we're gonna cover it with construction paper anyway. After all the cutting, your binder should look like this. And if you wanna, if you like it right now, you can just totally, totally just leave it like this. But um, I'm gonna cover it with construction paper to make it look pretty. Okay guys, so I picked these two colors to cover up the purple, but um, you can pick any other color you want, but I picked this. So guys, now I'm just gonna put glue all over here and then paste it over here. paper through very nicely it needs to be through all the way over here okay guys so after you're done putting the paper through the rings of the binder use a tissue and then wipe over to um, make sure there's no air bubbles measure it cut it to the size and paste it to cover up the edges you can just use the same red color or you can use a different color uh, like blue like me. So I've cut these um, blue strips for the border which I'm going to paste on right now.
stick this one like I did to the other one. Flatten it out. Okay guys, so this is how it looks and I really hope you like it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna add this very beautiful blue strap, or you can even skip this part if you're happy with you, what you have right now. done with the border but we're not done yet I'm gonna draw a bag here since we're gonna um, be doing the bag here guys I'm gonna be um, giving the spider I mean hanger because it's a hanger now um, for my sister to hang her bags and no 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 I'm just not gonna leave it yet I'm gonna be adding a bag icon Okay guys, so here's a bonus craft with these pretty little boxes and as you can see there's like these um, pink, there's pink inside on both of the boxes and both of them were um, $1 each so they were $2. Okay guys, so I put this white nail on the wall and then hang the, um, I hanged the top of the box horizontally. Can you see a better look of it? Then, I took other two clear nails and then I hammered it, I hammered the bottom. And then I did the same with the other two. And now I'm gonna put plants in it. See, so this is the plants, um, both of the plants inside. One is artificial, one is real. Hey okay guys, so I really, really, really hope you like this video and please 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 do try this at home and tell me how it turned out and please like share subscribe and hit that notification bell in the face i love you guys so much and see you in the next video bye